This one's gonna be on Feedly. It's a uh, RSS reader, and this one's actually my replacement for a Google Reader at the moment. It's pretty cool. It actually has more features than uh, Google Reader, but there's one feature that's missing uh, that I like about Google Reader, and that's the trend feature. I used to use that to clean up my old feeds and see which one is outdated and stuff like that. Uh, they don't have that in here, so that's the one feature I'm missing uh, when I'm using Feedly. But everything else in Feedly is, I think, is superior to, um, you know, the, what Google Reader had. Okay. So let's go with some features they have in here. Uh, let's go with how to add stuff first, because some people might be confused here. You click on Add here, Content, and you can either search in here or actually paste in the uh, RSS in here if you want. So if you want to search in here, we can do like, um, well, they do have categories here too if you want. If you don't know what you want to do. And you know you pick the category you want and click on the plus sign here and then you pick um, the categories that you want to assign to uh, that feed like you know you put the checkbox there or you can actually create a new category here call it whatever you want doesn't really matter right and then you click add but we're not gonna do that now if you want to search your own thing like let's say for example you search for my name or something right and you can click on add here and you can add to it now when you're adding here they actually have this feature I'm not exactly sure what it does but it says must read I think with this one if you click on that it will actually put this uh, feed at a higher priority so you probably have a, a better chance of seeing the feed as opposed to some other ones if you have like a lot in you know one category so use that I'm not exactly sure what it does but I'm thinking that's what it does um, so that's it for that now that's adding it from Feedly. If you want to add it like you would normally do, is that you know you browse to the site uh, itself. Let's say for example we do like Reddit here, and let's say we go to a uh, subreddit like um, I don't know, uh, funny here. What is this subreddit here? And we we'll click on this little uh, extension. Well, I'm using um, Chrome or Chromium here, and you have this extension, uh, this RSS extension, so you can click on it. And you can see that it has Feedly here, right? They do have some other ones. I'll show you how to add Feedly to uh, this option later on, though. But you click on subscribe, and it might take a little bit here, so we'll wait for it to um, to load the sucker, okay? But yeah, there you go. You add that sucker, right? And you have this um, green icon here, uh, and then you click on Add to My Feedly here. Right, and I'll add it, uh, and then you pick the category. Now, if you didn't pick any category in here, like this little any of these checkbox, then um, you can always just add it, and it'll go into the uncategorized here, at the bottom, right? Uncategorized, and this is our feed here, basically. Um, if you later you want to change it to a category, you can always go edit again, and do the same thing, and pick a category you want. Or if you want to delete it, you click on uh, remove here and this will remove your feed, right? So that's how you add stuff either uh, manually with um, the, what was that, add content or with the, uh, was that the extension? Now as far as the extension, um, you actually have to add in yourself here. Let me give you an example. So let's go to, if you're using uh, Chrome or Chromium, Go to your extensions here and go to get more extensions, right? And all you gotta do is just search for RSS, right? And then click search. And it should be in your extensions uh, tab here. And it should be the first one that says uh, RSS subscription extension by Google. Install that sucker, right? And then go back to your extensions tab here. And in options, um, you wanna do is add a new one. Because by default they only have two, and you add a new one. So we added a new one, and we call it Feedly. And this is what you put in here for the cloud version uh, of Feedly. So you do just cloud.feedly.com pound sign subscription slash feed slash uh, percent s here. I'll post you this uh, in the description, so you can just copy and paste it. But that's all you gotta do, and make sure it's set by default. And that's pretty much it. And every time you go to a different uh, site that you want to subscribe to, um, 
you know, you have this little icon. Or let's say some people are complaining about fucking YouTube not showing videos. Just go to, uh, you know, the person's channel or something like that. Let's say, for example, we, um, we do Marvel here, entertainment here, right? You go to their site. Sometimes you have to go to the video section. Uh, sometimes it depends, but sometimes you go to the video section here and you click on this orange button and you subscribe to them. All right. We'll wait for it to load here. But yeah, you wait for it to, uh, you know, load and then we subscribe to it. And now you won't have to miss a, a video because some people always complain about, uh, missing my videos or they don't like the shits that I like when I thumbs up on YouTube So you don't have to fucking use YouTube just use this and just uh, subscribe to uh, You know call it uh, Comic videos or something whatever you want to do right and click on add and then uh, whenever someone uploads something new It'll just go to your RSS feed so you don't even have to use YouTube. Okay, plus the YouTube uh, What was that upload? Um, thing some people always miss it, so that's the way I do it. And if you want to do that also, that's there. Other stuff you can do. Well, if you want to organize some feeds, uh, you can always drag the feed around. Like, if I want to drag this one down, I can do that, right? So you can drag it back and forth, if you like, um, the way that you want to see it in that order. Now, in here, the good thing about this one as opposed to a Google Reader, is that you can actually, um, I guess, preference it. Like this one, I like it to be just title only. So this is the title view. They do have some other views in here. But let me give you an example. Let's say we go to architecture here, right? So if you want to look at it in title view, this is how it looks like. Uh, so it's kind of like Google Reader. Now this one is the magazine view. For some people that like you know, to look at uh, pictures and stuff like that, so this one, it gives you like pictures of what that article is about, whatever. Not always accurate though. Sometimes the, the photo doesn't really match up with, uh, you know, the um, the post. And this other one, the card view, um, kind of like different tiles you can, you know, they do. And this one is the full article. So you can just read the whole thing real quick, right? Uh, that's about it. Now the good thing about this one is that let's say I want this one to be the magazine view and if I switch back to my other category of life here it'll still be in um, you know the title view because that's the way I like it for you know this category right as opposed to this other one so different categories have different uh, settings you can do right and uh, they'll save that um, as far as some other stuff you can do I mean this is like another way to sort out your, you know, your format or whatever you can do in here. Not that important. This is to mark as red. Now in here they do have shortcuts like we did in uh, Google Reader, mainly like Vim hotkeys and stuff like that you can do. So if you want to see the hotkeys, you can do uh, shift and question mark. Same thing that we did in uh, Google Reader. And this thing pops up. If you want to escape out of that, just hit escape. All right, so question marks to pop this sucker up. And I'll tell you all the hotkeys you can do. Like GM is uh, to go to today here. And uh, save in articles is GL and all that. Now to move to uh, to different articles and stuff like that, you can use J and K like Vim style. And to open it, you can do V. Uh, that's mainly all you really need to know. So for example, if I hit J, you see it opens this article, J again. J again and goes next to the next article and K to go backwards, right? If I hit V, it'll open that in a new tab and I can just read it from uh, their web page here. So that's about it for that. Uh, other stuff you can do at the bottom here, you have, you know, themes you can do, like different colors if you want to do that, and preferences, like some of the default settings you want to do, like um, some people want title only. By default, you can do that. Other stuff that you can figure it out yourself. Not really that hard. But that's pretty much it on Feedly. Pretty cool. 
check it out. This is the cloud service. Uh, this is the one I like. They used to have, well, I think they still have the extension. I personally don't like that crap on uh, my browser. And they do have an Android app. Um, that one's kind of uh, iffy too. But that's pretty much it for Feedly. Pretty cool Google Reader replacement. Just that it's missing that one feature I like, which is the trending feature. Um, hopefully they add that in the future. But uh, check it out if you need an RSS reader. This is actually how I learn a lot of stuff. Like some people always ask me, hey, where the fuck you learn all this thing? You just uh, subscribe to, you know, all your uh, websites that you would like to read. It doesn't have to be Linux. I mean, I have a lot of Linux stuff in here. But it can be any category you want. Like, you know, uh, cinema. I, I like to be updated on which, you know, new movies or whatever it is. Uh, I like some casual games, see which ones are the newest games. Uh, some Android stuff, some comics, you know, I can see which one's new in the comic world. Um, what is it? This one's for couponing. I was trying to learn how to do coupons. So you can do a whole bunch of shits in here. Even porn, uh, fitness videos, right? Oh, that what the fuck is that? Get out of here. <laughs> Gaming, right? Any anything you can think of, even gossip, which I don't even read, but I have it in here anyways. Um, so anything that you're interested in, you use an RSS reader, so you don't have to visit a thousand sites. Uh, all the new news will just come to you. Uh, so that's it for Feedly and RSS. Great replacement for Google Reader. That'd be it for this one.